matter, antimatter, of course, annihilates when they, in, when they in touch. contact. But if it's contained within a magnetic vessel, right. a magnetic bottle mm -hmm. of some kind, then it would basically bounce off the sides of the bottle without ever touching the matter that ex it's exterior that's right. to. You, you would make need to make sure that your antimatter is charged either positively or negatively, and mm -hmm. then you would create the bottle with that same kind of charge, and it would be contained inside this so-called bottle, but it's not actually a physical bottle it's not made a physical. up of matter. And by the way, the charges interact with the magnetic field, and why do they do that? Because it is one force, the electromagnetic magnetic force. force. Yo, that's, they go together. That's really that's cool. That's why. They're not just separate entities. That is so that's cool. That's why they can talk to each that's other. That's amazing. It's good. And then because they're like charged, they're, it's kind of bouncing off of it. That's right. Dude, that's amazing. Exactly. I love it.